Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to circle back and look at Stable Diffusion. Now this checkpoint was wildly popular last year for realism and its ability to run on low VRAM systems. Now, WAN 2.2, Quen, VO, all of these other image generation and video generation programs have kind of overshadowed it lately. People are no longer interested in Stable Diffusion XL and trying to create realism with it. But I wanted to circle back and see how it does and see if we could squeeze out some nice results from it. So I was doing a little digging on Civit AI the other day, just looking for new workflows. And I noticed I didn't have Xformers installed on my Comfy UI build. So I wanted to test how much faster SDXL is with Xformers installed. So I went and did that. And then it kind of got me on this rabbit hole where I was looking for workflows. And then I noticed some people creating some pretty good results. So I found this workflow. Now it is NSFW. You got to be careful if you're looking at this at work. Uh, the two images here are by far the least explicit. So <laughs> just take a look there. Uh, this is where you can download it. But this is the workflow that I'm working with and what you just saw on the screen there. And I've been using it to get some pretty cool results. Uh, I haven't done any of, you know, the NSFW type stuff, but I thought it would be cool for some realism or influencer type stuff. So here's one. I took one of the examples they had that wasn't, you know, nudity or anything explicit. Um, it is a little on the sexy side, I guess, but should be YouTube appropriate. <laughs> um, so this is what I was doing before I started recording here. It's not too bad. So something I noticed is they suggest your steps should be between 6 and 14. And the CFG should be between 1 and 1.3. I actually lowered it for a lot of these prompts. The CFG, uh, I've been getting a lot of good results at 0.7 and 0.8. Now, if you want this workflow, it's available on Civit AI, uh, and it will be on my Patreon as well, and I will include all the upscalers and LoRa's and anything else you might need uh, in that file, so that's just a one-click installation. Okay. So, something that's important, and why you might want to check out my Patreon where I've uploaded this, is having the correct uh, detailers. So, I actually used a different one than what was recommended this woman face one I have here, you can see that. Um, it's giving me good results. And then an eye detailer. I tried other ones, but this one was the only one that gave me good results. So I think it is important to have this installed and I will include it in the uh, zip file I upload. I think it's, it's good to have. So let's take a prompt here. So this is the prompt from Civit AI, I just stole it. Um, yeah, that's what generated this, but we'll just do it live and then we'll see what we got. So we've got an upscaler, a refiner, and then a detailer here. So this is the final, final version. I'm not too sure it's much better than the original, but all good. Let's try and give it one more run here. This goes lightning fast. I won't even have to speed this up. That's the huge benefit to this is you can generate stuff really quickly. And you know what? It looks pretty good. So I'm running a 5090, of course, that's top of the line for retail, but this will work really well with some lower VRAM cards. And wow, I'm actually quite impressed. Um, I think if you ran this through another skin detailer or played with the CFG a little bit, you might be able to get rid of that little bit of a plastic -y look to it. But I'm pretty happy with these results on that one. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's try another prompt from Civit AI. This is another uh, safe for work prompt. Now this should give a pretty cool image of a woman spitting out fire uh, with some cool makeup on her face. So I'm going to generate mine and then I will show you what was on Civit AI and their example. So let's go here. Again, only a few seconds to do this. I don't know what kind of card you have, but it should be fast. Interesting. That doesn't look anything like what they have. I kind of like that though. That's kind of... It's interesting, right? So let's go and look at what they have. Okay. So that looks really cool. Let's see if any of their settings are different in the bottom right here. So it looks like their CFG is at 1, 12 steps. Let's just change that and see what happens. So 1.0, 12 steps. Let's try that one more time. Okay, that's a lot closer. So I would assume they cherry picked their image. Um, I mean, we could see if we can get something better here. Let's let's try. Let's try another one. Yeah, 
Interesting. Okay. So this would take some extensive cherry picking, but not bad, not bad. Let's go back to Civit AI. I'm not going to show you just because I don't want to have to blur anything, but I'll be right back. Okay. Now this should create a cool artistic pattern. Now they had it at nine steps with the same CFG. Let's try that one more time. Well, not one more time. We haven't tried this yet. So this is going to create an abstract look, and then I'll show you what they did on Civit AI so you can compare their cherry picked versus our one shot result. Now that looks pretty cool. I mean, this is going to be subjective. I mean, at the end of the day, it's abstract art. So I'll show you what they did. Theirs is pretty cool. That looks a little more realistic. That looks like it could be made with sand or some kind of refined glass. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's try one more. It's nice to see generations that aren't completely AI based or sorry, that aren't influencer based strictly something different. Okay. That's interesting enough. Um, to be honest, I don't really know the point of this video. I just really wanted to explore stable diffusion again. I'm actually using a modified checkpoint called Mixture of Perverts. Now, obviously, this is an NSFW uh, checkpoint, but I figured using something like this would give some realism because it's probably trained on realistic faces and other things like that. So you don't have to use it for smut if you don't want to. Okay, let's try one more with a realistic influencer. So this should be a pretty tattooed woman uh, sitting at a restaurant sipping a drink. So the same. Let's try this and see how it goes. So that looks pretty cool. Again, if you did some refining on this, maybe put it through another imaging model after or something like that, uh, you might get some more realistic results and kind of remove that, you know, stable diffusion look that it has. Again, this workflow is fantastic for low VRAM. This is where it's really going to shine. Or if you're just playing with ideas and you're not really sure what you want to do and don't want to wait a long time, you know, with Quen waiting, you know, 30 seconds to a minute with a 5090 sometimes or one 2.2 similar generation times. This is giving you fully refined images within seconds depending on your video card, of course, but I'm confident this is going to be quick for basically any level of VRAM. So this is what they had uh, for theirs. They had a little bit more realism. Um, I'm not quite sure how they're doing that. I feel like this is very cherry picked or they're not quite sharing the sauce, but hey, more power to you. Maybe let's just try their seed. Three, two, five, three. Let's try. Oh, whoops. I put that in the refiner. You know what, though? That looks a lot better. Yeah, that's not bad. I have no idea what that watermark is. Maybe you do. Leave a comment below if I'm being naive, but that looks pretty cool. I mean, zoomed out, it looks better. Once you get a little close, you can start to see it's a little bit plasticky, but this is definitely something we should go back and see what we can do to refine it. I mean, a lot of people are still working with stable diffusion. Um, I think it's a great model and I'm actually having a lot of fun with how quickly I can generate things. It, you know, it, it makes for a good cherry picking workflow, right? You, you don't really have to worry about gen time. You can generate a thousand images and pick the best ones from it. It's kind of a different approach, but yeah, I just stumbled upon this randomly while I was looking for workflows to test my X formers and I thought this was pretty cool. So I'll upload that to my Patreon as well. You can join for free and try it out. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it and liked it. Yeah, I'm curious to see what your results are. All right, guys, have a good day.